All right, so this is watershed continuation. You can see we were just up there, way the hill slopes. So all this water is gonna be running down. All right, and that's why if you ever practice down here after it's rained, it's usually really, really soggy and wet for um, a couple days after. And you can see the slope of the land from up there is running down here. So this is one of our watersheds. Now, this is not necessarily watershed related. Um, this is more kind of interesting things about the way that we build things and, and have to deal with water runoff. So if you notice the building, the building's got a lot of surface area as far as its roof goes. It also, if we look all over here, we've got concrete everywhere. And if we went back up to the top portion, um, there's a huge parking lot. And when it rains, that water has to go somewhere because the concrete is not gonna absorb the volume of water that's coming down. And this is an area in the building or on the property that most of you probably don't know about or don't know what it is. This is called the storm water retention area. And you can see it's got these gullies that have been carved out a little bit. And if we go down in here, all right, we got a lot of grass that's growing and stuff. We got a big PVC pipe running here all right that runs down there we got another pvc pipe up in there all right and you notice what's kind of interesting about the storm drain here the storm drain is raised really really high all right and if you came down here after like a really really heavy rainstorm all right uh this would probably be flooded and when i say flooded i mean it would be like a pond you could probably swim in it um and i've been down here before when it's like that and that's one of the reasons why um, the, uh, the storm drain, those guys are looking at me like I'm crazy. Um, the storm drain right there is raised up because as the water level rises, all right, if it gets too high, then that storm drain is going to start sucking some of that water down. But you notice how we're kind of sitting down low. So all the water that comes from where you guys park up top, all right, all along here up by the tennis courts, I'm sure a lot of the water that runs off the top of the building, it's going, going to go in drains and stuff, and it's going to end up in this storm water retention area. And so this area probably serves the majority of the school building, all right? And a lot of areas are going to have... Um, a lot of areas with a lot of surface area that can't um, absorb water are going to have something like this. And we're going to go look at a couple more.